and the internet. Eyewitness News discovering sexual predators with their own web pages on the popular teen website MySpace. And now our investigation prompting the New Jersey Division of Parole to get involved. The investigator is Jim Hoffer here now with his exclusive report. Jim. Bill and Liz, the operators of MySpace have been saying for months that they're cracking down on sex offenders using their site. But it took us just a few hours to find numerous predators who served time in prison now spending time on MySpace. This is you, correct? On the MySpace? Yeah. Yeah. This registered sex offender spent nearly two and a half years in prison for sexually assaulting two girls, one under the age of 13. His profile was on the sex offender internet registry. He also has a profile on MySpace, the popular online hangout for teens. Do you understand why some parents might be concerned that you're on MySpace considering your, your history? I can understand it. Um, I don't outreach to anybody really on there. People outreach to me. Douglas Oates also has a MySpace page where he describes himself as sexy and looking for new relationships. But it was his relationship with a nine-year-old boy that got him listed on the sex offender registry as a level three offender, the most serious. This person's 14 years old, he's listed as your friend. Oates insists he's never met any minors on MySpace, and he says he uses it mostly to communicate with his family. I never met nobody on there. What would you say to parents who have their kids go on here to MySpace? I would say if anybody go on MySpace, you make sure your kids is meeting the right person. It's like putting a pedophile loose in a park. This is where all the kids are. Last year, Sergeant John Cowie and the Computer Crimes Unit at the Suffolk County Police Department caught Andrew Lebrano communicating with minors on MySpace, even though he had served nine years for sexually abusing two boys. After the MySpace arrest, Lubrano pled guilty to endangering the welfare of a child. Sex predator is a, is a you know, that's where they're going to go shopping. That's where the kids are. It's a, like I said, you know, it's putting a, a pedophile into a candy store. These are some of the um, registered sex offenders that, that we found on uh, the MySpace website. The New Jersey Division um, of Parole seemed troubled by our investigation, you know, promising to do really one of their own. The kind of information you're giving us, if these people are under our supervision, we're going to act on it, we're going to investigate it. What are they doing on this site and trying to interact on a site where they know it's young people? In a statement to Eyewitness News, the head of security for MySpace said they are committed to keeping sex offenders off MySpace and will delete profiles of convicted offenders they are made aware of. The security chief adding, we have developed tools to proactively identify and remove any registered sex offenders and are now in the process of reviewing 175 million profiles against all potential matches. But it took us just a few hours to find the websites of numerous sex offenders on MySpace, sites that remain active, except for one. I never met nobody off of them. Shortly after confronting him, this offender closed his MySpace profile. Do you think that sex offenders, those who are on the sex offender registry, should be allowed on MySpace? No, they shouldn't. Well, that's you, sir. Hmm. MySpace says it has launched technology that can screen out registered sex offenders, but as recently as this afternoon, we found more sexual predators with profiles on MySpace. Now, if you have a tip about this or any other story, please give our tip line a call at 877-TIP-NEWS. You can also email us at the.investigators at abc.com. The sex offenders, Bill and Liz, that we found on MySpace were using their real names. Who knows how many people are out there using aliases? It, it, sure, it is something, frankly, as a parent, it, it, I just, it's what I worry about with mm -hmm. my teenage kids. And, I, and it's, it's, it's something that I think a lot of parents worry about. And what's most troubling is that, I mean, you're a good reporter, but it, you're not a security expert. How long did it take you? It, a couple hours? Within hours, we were able to find over a dozen. So That's why isn't MySpace doing the same thing? That's the real question. 175 million profiles that they have you to You know, go they through? say they are doing aggressively as they can. They have new technology out there that they're trying to implement. But the question is, how effective is it? No, yeah. Not Jim, very, apparently. No. Thank Jim, you, Jim. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. And still to come tonight, could a relative's